The camera opens up on an eerily quiet highway road as a trailway motors truck and a hot dog van are driving side by side. Hey, y'all got it. What's, what's going on? Y'all partying? Hey, don't stop in this town. What? No, hot Jimmy loves this town, baby. Don't stop in this town. You'll die. No, I hey, gotta party. Don't. Okay, look. I'll All right, that's you. a weird thing. I was just seeing if y'all, I was just going to the town. I like partying too, but they back me up, guys. Don't uh, let them in your mouth. Don't, don't let them. Hot in. Jimmy, hot Jimmy don't live like that. All right, well, hot Jimmy's never stopped anything from getting in his mouth before, and I've been living pretty great like that. Oh, I can funeral. see. Jimmy, who was that? Some guy that does not like to party. All right, back to business. Once we get into Master's Carpets, we'll split up and each of us take one of the three main buildings. Alfred, you're going to supply and manufacturing. Ooh, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, I'll ask her. Do you think there's gonna be fire in there? There will be if Hot Jimmy has anything to say about it. Jimmy, you'll be going to the storage facility and that's the old factory building. So please do not burn it down until we make sure everyone is out safely. Hot Jimmy will try his hardest, but can't make any promises. And that leaves me with the R&D building. We don't know what we're facing once we get there, so everyone keep your head on a swivel. We need to find that informant and get her out safely and then figure out how to best contain these threats. And what happens if the plan doesn't work? Then we do what we always do. Try not to die and hope for the best. The camera lingers behind as we see the hot dog van driving up to Master's Carpets as text appears on the screen that reads, Oddity Roadshow, Episode 4, Aviary Test. Opens on the white hallway we're previously in, and then the camera pans over as we see our three uh, I don't know what to call you, honestly people in the game. <laughs> Protagonists, perhaps. Our protagonists, a word I just coined. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because they're the pros that tagging each other to say next line ist. Uh, anyways, wow. <laughs> uh, I appreciate the level of reach that was. It's like you limbered yeah. up for that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Because I had a, I had a run away from Paul's darting eyes that were just coming <laughs> at me. It's like we just started the episode. Okay, anyways, camera pans over and we do see our three protagonists, uh, trademark, and uh, the room with Corinne. Uh, as I said earlier, this is, uh, you know her from school. Uh, she is the head of the lacrosse team, very athletic build, 22 year old black woman. So she had like told you to come in to this room. No one's using it right now. There's like microscopes in there. You can see stuff, probably like a, a fridge for samples. Who knows? Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Does Corinne know about mean the incident stuff yeah 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 she probably does she probably does yeah okay. she does so she like pulls you guys and she's just like what are y'all doing here why are you just wandering around this is dangerous she's like you're gonna get yourself killed I don't worry. well you would have gotten killed outside anyway we're trying to stop it we're trying to kill the queen you're trying to kill the wait it's worms they get in your mouth make yeah, you want to sell cars the, i know about the thron right Didn't yeah Oh, wow. Yeah, no, not Jeff at all. You saw right through yeah, my no. disguise. Oh, I didn't realize you. No, I just, from your, you know, you're the only, like, six foot four guy at school. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, uh, that's true. I am quite recognizable. Yeah, anyways, uh, but, uh, but uh, it's like Jamie's, uh, I haven't Hi. seen you. And, uh, uh, wait a minute. Aren't you the guy that, like, bums cigarettes in the quad? I mean, that's like my half, that's half the people in the quad, didn't you know? You, didn't you sell bunk, like, fake, like, oregano to one of my friends? No. I heard it was Jingle Jangle. Anyways, uh, so... <laughs> I didn't know you. I didn't know you. What, were how do y'all know about, like, who are you with if you know about the worms? Uh, we're, we're, we're with Trailway Motors. You're with Trailway... Marlon Wink. <laughs> Why are you winking? Listen, I... Ron smiles a little bit because we're sticking with the story. I, so you're with the mechanic shop. Yes. You work there? We're volunteering. Okay, you think. need to go back to the mechanic shop. No, no we're so, here to help with the, no, the why? We, so. the we were at Crazy Carl's, and he said that we weren't family or friends, and then he said <laughs> he... <laughs> 
Deacon said that he doesn't get excited and then a worm went in his mouth and he got very excited. So we had to leave and there were just, there were so many worms. So then we went to Trailway Motors, then the worms were there too. So then we came here to try to help and also to find a, a key to our van that we just bought. Dude, you haven't seen any van keys around here, have you? Wait, you came here to get keys to a van? I mean... Yeah, but the worms, then the worms also happened. There's a lot. You ever and go for, out for errands and you there's like a few errands and you do them all in one run? And we we can kill the worms. Have you killed any? Yes, I've killed, but also like don't just kill them. You have to yeah, like- Yeah, no, you use fire extinguishers. You got the freezy juice in it. Cold juice. Cold juice. That's it. Sorry. Okay. I can see the brand in on the side. Cold juice brand fire extinguishers. They're all over the place. I do about electricity. Oh, you, you can shock them? Yeah, she pulls out like her lacrosse stick and then like she spins around and the bottom of it, it's kind of like modded where there's like some batteries and as you can see like a button she clicks at the handle to where like it like does like a little shock. She goes, well, if you electrocute them, it, 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 it stops and explodes, but I tried squishing them and it came back. Yeah, we, we did that. Too. Okay. Oh, don't let them get in your mouth also. We learned that too. That's just a general rule I think people should follow. I know, but it keeps coming up. I okay, thought so okay. Jamie just looks uncomfortably <laughs> back Anyways, and forth. Um, I, well, I, I guess if you, wait, is Trailway Motors like a cover? I wink again. What was your name again? Marlon. Mar are you okay? Do you have? <laughs> no one in this universe understands the, the I, like. Uh, how are you uh, able to do that wink? with only one of your eyelids? I know I know you're trying to wink at me, but I don't get what you're trying to say. That's what I'm asking. Is Trailway Motors? I'm trying to dodge the question. Is it, is it like a confidential? Is it a cover? I'm dodging the question. You didn't tell us who you work for. I know. I mean, I know Ron and Jamie from school. Like I said, I've seen you around. I'm not really trying to go around tell people I work for monsters here. And like, wait, you work for monsters? Well, I work for like beyond like beyond cat like the boss. Did you know Alfred? We, Alfred's my one of my partners. Okay, we oh, met. We met him. He's very nice. He's Where here. is he? Okay, he is. Okay, good because he does not have a cell phone. Oh, he, hang on, I have his email address. I think. No, it was his dead yeah. grandson. Yeah, he, refu him. he refuses oh. to wear pants with pockets, and he calls them slacks. And I try <laughs> to tell him. I try to tell him that that's correct. That's the correct <laughs> ter term. But also, you can wear other other pocketed pants. Yeah, look at this, and I point at Ron's chest where it's like slashed open. Well, hey now, <laughs> I'm not really interested in your no, friend here. No, I point here. again. I'm like, he got attacked. He's oh. like, oh, she means yeah, she means they they messed up my overalls. He, you look fine though. Your overalls got cut. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I thought Alfred. Wait, so you're with the mechanics? I wink again. I don't want to answer that question. I don't want her to know that I'm not actually with any kind of organization and so, I'm just an idiot. The last time we saw Alfred, he was um, going into the manufacturing building and the his friends were helping him get through. Me, Alfred, and Jimmy we were all split up. We were taking a different building. Hot Jimmy? You met Hot Jimmy? Yeah. He was driving a hot dog car. Y'all were, were alongside the hot dog car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We no, asked Jimmy who the fuck he was talking to, and he just said that people that don't want to party, and we try to tell him, Jimmy, we're not here to party. We're here to save the town. He seems like he's always there to party. He's always there to party. Listen, okay, I do live here. You live here at Master's Country? No, I live in, I've li I live lived in, in Dalton. In the and, and, well, I, tra I met them because we were, to and then we we all died because not these worms, different worms attacked, and then we were brought back to life and then recruited. And so now I work for this organization that you're not really supposed to know about unless you work for them. But y'all are, but we, you know, there's monsters, right? Okay, I yes, get monsters, it. Yes, monsters, monsters, what monsters. Stand for? It stands for metaphysical, other, new, subterranean, terrestrial, extraterrestrial, robots, and supernatural. It's more of the categories that they're broken up into. And usually what happens is what you what kills you, you kind of get put in that category. What's the where are the worms here? Uh, are they we're, aliens? We're or? under for S for subterranean. Because they, yeah, what, notice a lot of those categories. Now that I think about it, don't necessarily aren't necessarily exclusive. They're a lot yeah, of overlap. It's, it's, it's a lot because the thing is new really seems like a lot of these. You yeah, know? well, like, sometimes you just don't know what to do. You got to send the new crew. And, and so here's other the other is also just a big vague cat. You know what? I'm sorry. You exactly. Were, exactly. Ron, well, you're so you're so college learned. I look. I just he. They just said the words, and a lot of them. I was just counting them out of my hands, and a lot of them. You're they, you're beautiful. Well, hands. the pro the pro the, the problem here is, I mean, you know, I have the, a cuticle there's a plethora of things out there, and you can't really put them in categories. We just kind of make, you know. I feel like I got in a sidetracked, and I apologize. You, yeah. For that. Anyways, so if you called yourself P monsters, the P could stand for plethora. P monsters. Yeah. Uh, Crystal, so she goes, yeah. That, Jamie, I meant. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, I did. Some worms got in my mouth, but I chewed, and uh, then I was fine. Why do you keep chewing things like that? Like, there was the, that? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I mean, that's, that's how, how you, like, you eat. You can't just no, drink the first smoothies. It was like the, so you're eating worms down, and then before with, like, the rat at school? I'm sorry. What? what? No. Sorry. Huh? Jamie, you ate a rat? No. <laughs> what? 
I, I, mean, did, like, I didn't. I Okay, you know, I feel like I might have overstepped. I think that you, you might all be a little out of your leagues here. You, so you're just, you're looking for your car keys and you happen to find the worms. If I find your car keys, I'll give them to you. This is very dangerous. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why we got all these fire extinguishers. We want to kill the queen. You want to kill the, uh, the worms, not like, I mean... Yeah, we got no personal beef with the royal family of any particular nation. I don't oh, believe. yes, we do. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we can deal with those later. Right now, it's about the worms. Yeah. I mean, they kill Princess Di. We, we all know it. We can we can agree. That's... Anyways, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> you want to kill the... But you also want to get... Yeah, and the... so you are not with a monster hunting organization, right? Because there's plenty of them, but you're not with one... Like, it's, you're just with... Trail, you work for Trailway Motors. Well, I mean, I, again, we're sort of doing some volunteer work in between things. Jamie looks at Merlin... And it's yeah, we're not with an organization, but we all ha- like we we're competent as competent people usually okay. say. I'm competent, but yeah, we're you're not. Look, I'm sorry, we're gonna do this. No, that's fine. Okay. You're not gonna stop. I mean, we're us. not leaving. We've already been told by a bunch of folks to run away, and we ain't running away. Because what's what's gonna happen if these towns overrun by worms? They're gonna kill everyone. They're gonna sell. Cars I mean, I agree with everybody. you, but okay. I'm, hey, listen, I'm not. I'm not. Talking, I'm. I only got in this business because I tried to fight something that I couldn't, and then I died from it. And so I don't know. Maybe you come back to life. Maybe you don't. It's not for everybody. I just got in here. I was trying to set the case, like I said. So Alfred, you said, is manufacturing. Uh, I told Hot Jimmy to go over to to the storage facility. That's where the queen oh shit! Is. That's where that's gonna be. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> what? No. So yeah, that's where the queen we is. Sent, I hit sent. <sighs> Send Jimmy there because I thought that would be the least likely for him to. Fu- no, Marlon it grimaces out. and shakes his head. No. Okay, wait. We've been to manufacturing. No, I got too. Quite, you, So you got the fire extinguishers. You you cold against them, right? Yeah, they don't re- regenerate. Do you know what about what about fire? I think they like heat, but I don't know. <sighs> Ooh, hot Jimmy. Oh, oh, is it oh, literal? That, that's a level. That's well, he makes, I will say, uh, Induendo is that he does make f- amazing hot dogs. So he might. But he also. Well, you wouldn't he, buy a, a vehicle shaped yeah, like also, a food you were uh, bad but, at making, but, would you? Uh, but he, he also he can produce fire in his hands. So maybe he's making. Yeah, so that's it is, what he's that's making worse. Should we go help him? I, th- I, think, we sh- I think we should immediately I go. I give Corinna t- fire extinguishers. I feel like we have to. I hand, and I hand Marlon another fire extinguisher. Marlon didn't want to carry two because he's lazy, but he takes it. No, thank you. And then Corinne just like she like flings it and like puts it like on her back somehow is like already strapped. It's like in. she has like a, stra- a harness I mean, like, for this. You, you like look like I said like not she's only- just Casey Jones from one hundred percent. One hundred percent. We get like up from like her boots up to like she, she just like is outfitted. She has like a, you know like look her at all them out. straps the and cross pouches. strips. She has like fucking knives on there can her. Be she, anything she in doesn't those really pouches. have a lot of uh, guns or anything. It does seem like most everything's made of it. And she also she's just like fucking ripped. Not as tall or big as Ron. That's a very that that's hard to. It's, um, this is, what she's done is something you can work at That's and she, achieve. She's like easily like six, like six foot, six foot one. She's like, okay, yeah. So uh, we got to get over to storage. We got to get it out of the. She pulls out like uh, her, well, a hot phone. Jimmy got a phone. Yeah. We we go calm, silent unless it's like an emergency. Uh, this I, seems like an emergency. Uh, no, let me. And then she goes, hold on. Let me, so she sends like a text. And she says like, no fire and worms. And she sends it to both of them. She goes, okay, let's get through. Uh, but now we're quick. And she pulls up and she's like, she does have some plans that was sent. Uh, and you see. Like it was sent from like an email from like monsters, uh, and she's like looking. At Marlon she, memorizes the address to yeah, bother she, it later, and, she, and she's like looking through it. She's like, okay, so what's interesting is, and so once again we put on this for subterranean stuff. Um, it does look like both R and D and storage have underground facilities. They're not registered on the blueprints here, but we did some seismic scans earlier to like check out the area before we got sent. Our recon team did, and uh, it does look like there's stuff under both R and D and storage. I don't know if they're connected. We can either try to go in the way we came out and go backtrack and just try to go over there. Did you alert anyone to your presence? Does anyone know you're here? Has any you've been only um, someone who's on our side, people who are on our side, and the people who are just like worm crazy? Wait, what? They're like feral worm. No, I'm, saying, I'm sorry. What, what what color? What color did they did they, they have bloodshot eyes with purple stuff around? Oh, fuck the purple ones. Okay, but okay, but okay. we. Um, Okay, Marlon was really smart, and now they're following a forklift yeah, instead of us. A for- forklift I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they. Okay, the purple the, ones, the, pur- the purple. Us. The purple one. They're scared. They're gonna attack. But you. look, I, I pointed at Ron. That's what attacked Ron. Look. He's okay. Okay. So strong guy. Wait, they attacked you, and nothing happened. Why does everyone keep having such? I mean, yeah, like it. it it's not complicated. <laughs> it's okay. I, we it's got, simple. We did. He said he's never been hurt before. I figured I was just lucky. Ah, you're one of them. Okay, whatever. Then we can move. Okay, so we gotta go. So uh, how about this? Okay, so I'm gonna pick out this door. And we're gonna try. We're gonna try to just let's just fucking book out. We can try to make it. Uh, hopefully, we can backtrack because I, I know where Jimmy went in for storage. And we gotta get over there. Uh, I feel like research and development at a place like this is gonna be fucked up. Let's follow you. Yeah. 
Okay. And the, and she like goes to open the door, and then she immediately sleeps. She goes, "Okay, we can't go that way." Why? Uh, the, uh, Did you give it this? Give it the little handshake. No, no, no. Uh, hold on. And she like opens the door crack, like takes a picture of her phone and like shows it to you. She goes, it's this. And what you see is this kind of like, just this weird cascading image of just kind of looks like a person that has just been like split up into slivers and like sliced up and put out, but it's like this green carcass around it. And it's kind of, and it looks like this, not similar to the silk like materials we saw before, it does look like a car- like a carcass of a human has been like spread and expanded around into the the hallway. It's green. Yeah, and it's green. And she goes, okay. So you talked about the purple, the green ones. These are kind of their sentries. You can't get through. They don't move. They don't do anything. You gotta break through their shell, and uh, they they're just, it's it's just acidic inside. We had some early reports in these. We believe there's three types. There's green. There's purple. And then there's Grace. So we, we've seen them all now. Marlon looks around the room. Is there another obvious way out? Uh, give me a, a, a read a bad situation. It's an 11. Yes. I like this show where we roll high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't so jinx it. You're, too, you're, 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 you're looking around uh, and you you are able to like find like a ventilation little area up there. The two of you can get through, but Ron and Karina are like too big. Can we hop down somewhere and unlock a door for yeah, them? Or? Like, y'all can go in there. Well, come on, Corinne. I'll give you an alley oop. Just step on my hand here. And she's like, it's not. It's more. Um, <laughs> I can actually reach. It's the. It's the. The broad shoulders that we both got here. Mm. Can't oh, really. I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. And she goes, okay. So here's. How about y'all go in, see if you can make a ray around, see if you can find something. Here's my cell. You let me know what's up. We'll wait right here. Uh, Ron, he looks. I mean, you, apparently very capable, as as you said. So y- y'all go forward. And uh, we'll just hold up here. Okay. I have the perfect thing for this. And Jamie pulls a flashlight. It's like shaped like a frog. And when you push a button, its mouth opens and it lights up. Fuck. Wow. Does this exist? Marlon likes it. I love this. Marlon thinks it's cute. Jamie's going first. I will. Okay. We'll go. I don't think I can realistically carry two. Oh, here. Let me. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me yeah. Oh, yeah. Re- I mean, like, you're, it's going to be really hard to carry. You're in an air dock. Can I carry one? Or you could, like, probably, like, attach it to your foot and drag it behind you, but it will make you a little. This talk- I had a backpack earlier. I did, too. This is the, with the, you could put it in the backpack and, like, put yeah, it on that's your what foot, I was but, saying, like, yeah. it's still, like, y'all can crawl in there. You're both pretty, like, scrawny. I want to bring at least one. Yeah. So. I want to turn to Marlon and reach up for a high five before we go in. Marlon gives you a high five. Sweet. <laughs> the way you held your hand up was so, with the thumb kind of like tucks in and like finger most, side together. <laughs> it was the most frightened and like, I sure hope I get a high yeah. five, but Marlon might bite my hand off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's just scared of being left hanging. You crawl up into the uh, poorly lit, but now illuminated by a frog's mouth. Uh, Air duck to start making your way forward. Uh, and so the camera like follows y'all like as y'all are crawling in and then uh, it lingers back to uh, Corinne and Ron and she just looks and goes, so you're, you you don't get hurt, right? Is that I'm assuming? I mean, I suppose, sure. Suppose not. I mean, okay. I mean, evidently not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know about right? No, no about no. What? what you, I'm sorry. Do I know about what? I'm kind of the same boat as you. No, you're dead and you play lacrosse. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not dead anymore. I died, and I came back. Okay, well, I've never died, so that's at least... I mean... But well, you don't have to die to be... I'm saying, like... And she goes, all right, hold on. And she, like, looks around. There's, like, there's like a scalpel, and she goes, watch. And she, like, stabs your leg, and it just kind of bends. Hey, that's that's vital medical equipment. Yeah, okay. That and then she, she picks up another one and stabs her own leg, and she goes, see? Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times it doesn't kick on until you die, though. So you sure you haven't died once? It's, uh, once again, I know people that haven't died, but... I mean, I, to my knowledge, I have not, as of yet, interesting, died. Interesting. So, okay. So you know about everything then, right? So you're kind of like, uh, so is that why you're with the, are they helping you? Are you the lead hunter? Or? All right. So here's the deal. Got a van. We're going on a road trip. There's no keys in the van. They said the guy, Stefan, he, it was his van. Last time anybody saw him, he was coming here to look into the worms. You know a man named Stefan? You ever heard of Stefan? You really came here for keys? You weren't just... I mean, like, obviously, and it, it, as part of the whole, like, we don't want, the, it, when we found out the town was going to get consumed by some kind of brain worm, we thought, well, we better make sure that at least doesn't happen to most of the people we like. Best we can do, and then catching two birds with one stone or whatever this okay, is as so they go. you're going to kill these worms, and then you're going to go on a road trip is your plan. 
Yeah, I mean that seemed like I mean it was the plan wasn't to kill the worms. I keep I want to make that pretty no, clear. I'm the just, plan was to just, go on a road it's trip. Very, I know every time I run into some of these situations, it's either people fleeing the situation or people that know what's happening, they're going towards it to try to fix it. I don't really get a lot of people that don't know what's happening and they are still trying to fix it. It's, I'm just saying it's interesting. I mean, folks need help, and by golly, who's gonna do it? None of these people. All these people got worms in their brains or they're cowards running off. Met a, met a man working the chipping thing. He's ran off. Oh, well, yeah, I guess, you know, that's... I, I mean, I, I'm not... Hey, look, yeah, I no, get I, it. The no, worms I, are scary, and they're I, very I, I gross, mean, I'm but... just, I was just trying to get, like, a feel for you in the group. Like I said, I, I, know, I knew Jane from school. Also, that guy definitely sold my friend oregano. I mean, is your friend... So, like, your friend's into cuisine? What's up? You're mm-hmm. a very interesting person, Ron. Well, thank you. All right, we cut back to y'all are like crawling in the in the air ducts. What do you? I feel like Jamie's talking a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is she I like talking the idea about? That's rattling a little bit off the a little bit off the yeah. Well, I start off being really quiet, and then I start going. Listeners will recognize that she doesn't know the James Bond theme. Jamie, what what song is that? I, it's a it's an old video game I used to play. What video game? Goldeneye. You don't sing songs to yourself when you're doing cool stuff. Well, I was about to say I, use, I don't want to get caught. Uh, I do sometimes. Yeah, he lies. Yeah, it's nice. it's nice. Yeah, it makes you feel cooler, right? Yeah. <laughs> what other songs do you like to sing to yourself when you're doing well, cool this, stuff? I sing this one when I'm not doing cool stuff, but just having fun. I think we're doing cool stuff and having fun, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. I think factual. The, the um, camera's cutting back and forth to each your faces. Jamie is so smiley and sincere, and Marlon's face is just... <laughs> He's just doing his best. He doesn't want to upset Jamie. The song is. <laughs> also, Jamie, try. It's cool to sing, but let's do it. He like pulls on her foot. Shh. We cut back to like the room that the Ron and Corinne are, and they just like look up at the bed as you say. I like pull on your shoe. I'm like shh. I guess there's somebody up there watched a Benny Hill fan somewhere in the no, office. No, that's that's uh, that's Jamie. She would do that during tests. She did that a lot. <laughs> I was in a couple of classes with her. She she eventually got to take tests on her own. And we cut back into the events. What's your favorite movie, Marlon? Uh, the Music Man. I actually don't know any songs from that one. It's a musical. I I've watch heard it. of it. It kind of scared me. Like, does the music come out of the man? It's a story about a man who goes to a small town in Iowa and starts a boys band. A, like a It's not a horror movie, Jamie. Oh. It's a musical. Is that We're in a small town and we're a musical. Yeah, we could start a boys band. You start to see a light coming from ahead. It seems like there's like a little a little grate you can look out of. I, I see something up above or up ahead. I'm going to get closer. Okay, turn your I'm, flashlight off. I'm going to whisper now too because okay. we're really quiet. Okay, flashlight off. Don't sing okay. anymore. Okay. okay. So there you go. We can sing more later. We can sing the quiet song now. Okay, uh, and Jamie's gonna like. What's the quiet song? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's a Brian Eno piece. Cool. <laughs> okay, that's uh, exactly what I wanted it to be. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. 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 I uh, give me. Uh, so you give me an investigative mystery for Jamie. Nine. What is being concealed here? You, know, you don't really know how far. You haven't gone like super far, but you know, you don't know exactly where you are in the R and D building. But like, you are like looking out in the grate, and you see some people like they have a body down. It looks like they're like doing an autopsy on it. It does look like one that's like been affected. And you overhear a conversation. One of the scientists is saying to the other one, "The rate that they're regenerating at is is just alarming." Also, at really, what he wanted to do was take over the entire town. There's not going to be a town left because I'm pretty sure he's finally fucking snapped. And then the other guys, it's like. No, I, he's not. He's a genius. And the, the, it's like, no, it's because this motherfucker, the last time I went to his office, is just covered in like dirt. And you can tell he's eating. Anyways, what I'm seeing right here is the early test subjects that we've been using for years to make all the carpets, they eventually can like recover from this. And that's how we can hire trails. This is just, he is just massacring them with this. This isn't about making carpets anymore. This is, this is something different. So you just hear them like going back and forth. And you can tell they're kind of have like an ethical 
thing, but like what you can tell is like it, you did hear them specifically. It's not so much ethical as one of them used to be cool with not getting caught, well, that's what, and okay. the other one that, is well, that's still what I'm cool. Saying, with like it. They, it is still like one of them is finally having ethics into this because it's gone too far for him. But you did hear that they talked about how they've done this before and like they've used this like this method for years, but this seems like a newer thing. Okay, um, Jamie's gonna shimmy back away from the vent, back towards Marlin. The carpets have always been people. Is it the warm silk or people? It's, well, the warm silk comes from the people. That's true, that's true, that's true. So this isn't Chicken new. Egg, egg situation. This isn't new, they've been doing it for years. I didn't see an exit. Is is it possible for Marlin to go past me and take a look in the vent? Yeah, you can kind of like scoot forward and-, and, and, yeah. and, and He's skinny. <laughs> Yeah, there's yeah. just enough room for you to have a comical sort of like. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, oh. So I didn't, I didn't see any exits or anything, but I heard that uh, I think one of the, I, I don't know if they're scientists or, or uh, what, but they said that the guy, the head guy, mm -hmm. is crazy and eating dirt and wants to take over the town, but he can't take over the town because if everybody gets worms, then everyone will be dead. Uh, and but the other person said that he's not crazy, but I think he's, pro I think so he's probably he's crazy. crazy. And dirt. Yeah. We have to stop him. Yeah. Do you think the queen's inside him? What do you think the situation? I guess. I mean, I don't know how the different types of worms work because we just learned about the different types of worms. But if the queen is different from all the other ones, then maybe it would do something different and maybe it could be in him. Yeah. That's what I think. Mm. Do you want to do you want to take a look? Yeah. Okay. Marlon shimmies up. Uh, you shimmy up, and by this time, uh, those scientists are out of that room. When you shimmy up, instead of... What sound of, does it make? <laughs> instead of trying to, like, do, like, the, hey, sorry, get out of the way thing, Jamie just goes completely still <laughs> up against the wall of the air vent and silent. Jamie, can you, can you scoot? Jamie, I can't. Mm. Can you scoot over? Mm. Are you okay? Do I need to... It's fine. Are you sure, are you sure I don't want to make you uncomfortable? I'm just trying to be out of the way. Okay, Cool, thank you. Oh yeah, you look in, the, sci <laughs> the scientists have left the room, the, the body is still on the table, but there's no one in the room. Okay, I, how high up am I? Like you know, that, like this, the, yeah, yeah, it's, on not, your it's not here? super tall, and like, yeah, you can like, you can pop it open. You're able to get up with like a little boost, but like you're tall enough to where you can kind of like shimmy halfway out, and then it's just like a few feet. I turn around to Jamie, I'm gonna go down. Oh, you, th you think we should go down? Yeah. And then can we get back to where Ron and we should find a way to let them Could out of where they are or, or try to oh, okay. investigate while nobody's in here. Okay. Okay, before I like help, I, I come down, and before I help Jamie or anything, I make sure all the doors are locked. Yeah, yeah, it seems like the door is locked. Okay. Then if you need help, I don't know, because you're... Yeah, can I sing a song? Quietly. Okay. I'm just going to go, Wee! this is fun. Oh, this nice. is fun for me. Thank you. You're welcome, Jamie. <laughs> and then I investigate the corpse that's on the, or the, <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> I take pictures of it, and I'm, like, trying to check its pulse, try to not get too close to it. Yeah, it's pretty surprising for how little of a pulse this thing has as its chest cavity has been. Uh, it's just open, and it's got no organs inside of it. It's crazy how little of a pulse the thing does. But definitely check it. Uh, there's nothing. I'm, I'm just, oh, no, no, I get it. I just, uh, oh, no, Paul! He took me over. No, uh, <laughs> no. I know who's got the brain no, you, do, you, do, you do. It does look like they have, like, fully done, like, an autopsy. Like, they've, t they've removed, like, organs. It's stuff like for, alien autopsy, but for a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy autopsy. Coming this fall what else, is in the room? what else is in the room you do anything valuable uh you do yeah you find uh, a couple of charts where there are notes and stuff like that and you do confirm reading through like the different tests these new worms they're not like immune to fire but like they're, they're not, they don't really get hurt that bad by it freezing you confirm that you know if you freeze the host the worm itself will try to like eject itself and get out to find a new host green worms normally are like for like more sensories purple worms are attack gray our harvesters. You don't really see anything, nothing new, but it's just like confirms a lot of the stuff that you had found out. I take pictures of all of it and I start my phone uploading it to a server I mm -hmm. have so that if I get captured, I can be like, I'll release this, but I'm already yeah, yeah. emailing it to people. Like it's already, okay. I'm like doing all this shit on my phone. I love that Marlon set up a dead drop. In case of my <laughs> untimely demise, these emails that, will be distributed. But I've already emailed it to people. <laughs> um, what's Jamie doing? Ever since the electricity thing came up, Jamie has been thinking that a really good weapon against these worms would be a cattle prod Ooh. Um, because of her experience with 
farm life. Mm -hmm. I want to scour for any kind of prods or tasers or anything in the room. Uh, you are you're such a, you don't see any in this room, but you do see uh, a testing facility because you do see a more of a detailed map in this room for the layout. But it does seem like it seems like a larger room than most of them too. Marlon, do you want to take a picture of this map? Yes. I also I put the vent back on. Yeah, yeah, and you're able to figure out you're you're a few hallways down from where you left, like Ron uh, and Corinne. Uh, but you do see that the testing grounds are close to you. Should we try to pick up some things on our way back, or should we get them first? They're a muscle. I don't know. Well, I, I look out if I can like look out a window or something. To see if there are guards in a certain rotation, or people uh, walking so around like in a video game. So this one doesn't seem like uh, well, inside of the uh, like the research you and development. It's, it's not at a wall for five There's, seconds. You haven't really seen like any guards around here. You mainly like just see kind of like scientists. And it's kind of eerie, too, because, like, when you all the hallways look similar, like, but it does seem like you don't really see a lot of people around. Uh, if you do hear anybody, it's, like, kind of scientists milling about. But once again, because this is, like, late at night, this is not, like, fully staffed up. What do you think, Jamie? I want weapons. Okay, well, let's go there first. We, I want to go, like, briskly, but not full-on run and attract too much attention. Yeah, yeah. Oh. so we, we all, like, make your way out of the hallway. We cut over to uh, Ron and Corinne. So anyway, it's a movie about a fellow that shows up in a town, just lies to <laughs> literally everyone, and then the town decides, rather than, like, sort of condemn him for being a liar they decide to live in the lie that he has constructed anyway yeah. it's marlon's favorite movie That's your for some reason favorite movie yeah i know it's a it's a musical but and it's fine it's, okay. it's it's like of its age but it's not really problematic like a lot of them can be so but it's, it's got some catchy tunes and you know yeah, yeah sounds okay well you know I, you like patter song i think it's called to each their own to each their own so i do i do kind of go back here and ask what's what's up with the road trip i just, sometimes you just got to get on get on out the road you know like Time just gets gets a little stuffy sitting in your own head, being in the same small town for so long. And I figure we all just graduate. It's time, it's time to take a little trip. Uh, real quick question, Ron. The doorway, uh, you, you notice that green stuff seeping in through the bottom of the door? I had not, but I now have that not you have brought it to my attention, it does Your dulcet speaking tones really captured me, but I will say that does... Uh, look, it's pretty similar to the... It does seem there's a lot more of it in here than lot. there was. I will it's agree with more. you. Now, real quick question, Ron. Does that look like an ear on that, uh, that green <laughs> part coming right there? No, I did not go to school for anatomy, but I'm going to say yes. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and say we should back up against uh, yeah, away let's, from the Yeah, let's get further away from that. Uh, oh, my. There's... This... See if we can, I guess all these end tables are kind of raised up because they seem to have some kind of vacuum, the robot yeah, vacuum, uh, so all Ron, the furniture. Roll to read a bad situation. Oh, it's a bad, it's another bad situation for Ron. Oh, well, it, that's seven, eight. So you get to pick. I sure do. Uh, well, what's the best way to protect the victims, meaning m me and, you know, the, us? It looks like underneath the door, the way that molten lava kind of moves, which is very cool. It does seem like that, but then like the texture on it on the outside does seem to be hardened skin. And what looks like if you like zoom in on it and the camera does, instead of it just like, you know, like moving forward, it actually looks like every time it actually expands out that it's like breaking and stretching out the skin like further and further to where the idea of what this like, you don't know how many people, but it does look like it is just kind of like the exoskeleton of a person being like spread out. Not something people have. No, like whatever. Saltwater no, this is the thing. This is the thing. I know people <laughs> don't have exoskeletons, but it does seem like this is like a human an exoskeleton that is being like broken and spread out. I was actually thinking of a, a pizza dough yeah. after you've let the skin dry out and then it continues to poof and then it starts it's to crack like, and break say, again. Because also, like I it's, said, there, it's it's hardened. So that's what I'm talking about with the exoskeleton because it looks like skin, but like hardened. And then uh, when you figure out that you definitely should touch it because, you know, it's there's like science shit everywhere. So now there's like, there's scalpels. We already talked about that. Like one of the scalpels falls and it does like cut through and pierce like the the exterior of this. And then They really should store those more in a more stable place. <laughs> well, she, you, you, it's just because she'd been grabbed them to stab both you to show that you can't get hurt by small things but the scalpel does fall directly into it and break but as soon as it breaks into the exterior you start to see it like wither and melt within it on the inside of this is bad well Corinne, it seems like whatever's on the inside of that is bad oh well you did go to college look <laughs> we both I, I mean you all yeah you're wearing the 
I know. I'm mainly just there because I'm really good at sports. I, I They really just kind of let me coast. Also, a lot of times I leave because I got a job hunting monsters, so they don't ask a lot of questions. Yeah, why are you? know what? Never mind. Uh, let's. I let's, like to have a healthy social life on top of hunting monsters, you know? All right. So is there any furniture we can move and get in the thing's way? Like, what's, oh, what's yeah, the I thought? Don't, All right. So, like, I mean, where do you think the door is and they're going to come in here? What corner should we be in? Is there something we can stand on? I well, mean, here's the thing. Do they know that we're here? I mean, that our, you know, like, Marlin and no, no. I mean the people here. Do you know if they know we're here? Do you know if this place is being bugged or video cameraed? I mean, almost. I mean, look at this place. Like, I don't know. Like, okay, I know well, the other room. I know that room was. You mean the room across the hallway from us? Yeah, with the lady in it. So this room probably is too. I mean, well, I don't, I'm gonna say look, this is probably I don't intentional. Work here. I feel like yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and then when you say the lady, the ear. Oh, is that an ear you recognize? Oh, oh dear. Oh. I oh. Oh, is that nice lady? Is that is that nice lady that gave us that gave us some, that gave us the helps? Um. What'd she give you? Uh, she just. Oh yeah, she gave me this, and I hold out a a broken chew heel. I don't know if it's something or not. She seemed to make a big show and, out and of getting Corinne it to And Corinne immediately us. picks it up. She goes, oh, that crafty bitch. Okay. And then she, like, puts it on the ground. That's, an, that's a rude thing she, to say about a dead woman. She smashes it, and then she picks it up, and there's a tiny little microchip in there. And she goes, okay. Do all uh, shoes have those? No, but here's the thing, uh, what you can do. And she, like, puts on a glove around her hand, and then she starts to, like, touch the back walls. And she's like, okay, okay, okay. And then at one point, her finger, like, connects to a spot, and then a door opens in the back. Well, dang. There was someone here that contacted us. Their code name was Heal. They had information for us. That's who I was coming to find. Well, you want to ask her? She's uh, inching closer to us on the floor as a giant sort of... Bulbous. She's very calm with this woman. She's all being dead. ears. Ooh. Jamie's laughing for no reason with Ron, with Marlon. Ah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> so she opens this door, and so like uh, it's just like, and it's it's you know it's big enough for y'all to fit in. Ron and Corinne are like making their way down this hallway, this little secret hallway, uh, and we cut over to Marlon and Jamie. Give me an act under pressure check as you're trying to sneak through the hallways. Nine for Jamie. Eight. So yeah, y'all make your way down a few different hallways, uh, and then eventually you do make your way down a hallway, and there are, like, you see two scientists, like, standing at the other end, sitting there talking. Uh, so I was doing this electron stuff to my science machine the yeah. other day. Uh, and so, I am science. Hey. Yeah, I'm science in here. I'm, I'm like a science guy. Ooh, Hydron Collider! I am in Dalton, Georgia, with yeah, this so accent. You, you do, you, you, you make your way down, and you do fine. You come up, you know, there's, there, like, they don't notice you. Uh, but I guess I'll just stare at but this, this wall is like for a the, couple You gotta of go minutes. through this hall to get to like the testing area. I just act like I belong there. I'm hoping that they're not purple warning. You'd be surprised. That works a lot. You, you, yeah. just, you just like you just start like walking down. They look they're like, hey, what? Y'all are supposed to be in the ship like manufacturer. Y'all are supposed to be back here. No, Voss told us to come down. No, he wouldn't have told you. He wouldn't have told you to come down. You got you gotta go back. I'm gonna be a grifter. Yeah, manipulate. You think I? You think I don't know? I shouldn't be down here. I will only come down here if the boss told me to come down. Because my whole thing is, I get to ask you, what will convince this person to do what I want? To have like proof that you're supposed to be there is kind of what they would want. Well, let's see what I roll. Maybe they need. We new, did see new a fire lot of jumpsuits on our way through. Maybe floor. they. Ooh. Also an option. That's a nine. Yeah, so how are you trying to convince, like, what are you doing? Give me some grifting. No, there's, like, an emergency out front with, like, every, like the, all the staff are getting eaten alive by worms. And we it's, like, getting out of control to where it's going to spread to back here. So we need to, like, get it under control. What, you haven't taken the antidote? No. no there's an yeah. antidote? And I'm acting like, I'm like, what? Wait, did you, you, got, you don't know the antidote? No. You got to take the... That's why, that's why we're fine here. Because even if the worms get in here, they're not going to get in. You just got to... Where, where's the antidote? Is the antidote stored in the testing area? Wait, were you sent down here to get the antidote? Yeah. Well, then why'd you fucking say that? Of course you... Okay, I get... Okay, anyways. So, I'm happy y'all in the inner ah, circle. Ah, this is ah. great. Yeah, so just go on through there. Grab the antidote. But, hey, quick. Do me do me a quick favor real quick, what do you though. Need? I need you to drop off these reports. And then, like, he just starts handing you this. Just drop off these reports. You'll see uh, Teresa up there. Okay, she's in the test lab. Now, you're going to give her the green form, all right? Green and, form yeah, yeah, for give, Teresa. Give her those. Give her those. And then, also, mm. you go ahead, you go ahead and tell her. I'm not going to be able to get her that $50. And so I'm just she'll know what she'll know what it means. Okay. And you go do that and so Yo, what a cryptic message. <laughs> also, you know, just go get that and then as soon as y'all are done, go ahead and meet me up there cuz uh, are y'all wait, are y'all the new testers? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So go ahead. You meet me back in my office uh, on the third floor. 
uh, and then we'll go ahead and get some. But you gotta get the ando first because we gotta make sure it works. All. So. All right. So we'll see you later. I like your shirt. Is that strutting around? Ah. Okay. I thought it was. Uh, I have another shirt similar to slutting around, but. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, y'all go, and I'll see you. I'll see you at the lab. All right. Thank yeah. you, and thank you for the finger guns. Yeah. And then they, you walk out, and the camera lingers on them. He goes, Yeah, I'm gonna feed them the new worms and see if the antidote works on them or not. And the guy's like, yeah, that makes sense. We're evil scientists. <laughs> this testing facility, like, you walk into the main room of it. There's, you know, uh, three different doors. One that leads to the control booth. One that leads into, like, this more open area. A third room that says restricted access. Uh, and in the area you're in, uh, there are some lockers around. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. There's no one else in there right now. Rapid fire, take pictures. <laughs> of all this stuff, okay. Uh, Jamie, I want to check the uh, lockers for weapons. Yeah, yeah, uh, you do check the lockers. They all have uh, these white suits, goggles, gas masks, and cattle prods. Hey. Jamie is very excited. I would like to change into the white suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no longer Jeff. I'll change. I'm still Russ. And I'm going to take, like, the gas mask and stuff in my backpack and the cattle prod, obviously. Y'all get changed. Do you uh, do you put on the, the gas mask or goggles or anything, or what do you do? I do. I put it on so people can't see my face. And then I'm, I am going to try to go. Uh, yeah, so y'all, as soon as y'all get like dressed up, this uh, woman comes out. Oh, all right, are y'all, are y'all the test testers? Yes. Uh, here's. All right, great. No, okay, yeah, we'll get that. We'll he, go he that. He can't give you the fifty dollars. Are you Teresa? Yeah, Ter he can't. He made me. Okay, well, I mean, can't give you the fifty. But he, we need the antidote. You need the antidote? Yeah. You haven't gotten the antidote yet? Not no, yet. no, there must have been the paperwork fuck up. I'm sorry. This here says you already. Okay, but you haven't got. The, okay, we'll get that. I um, think so, some glitch in the system. That's no problem. I'll, I'll get you two, and then we'll just... Okay, go ahead. Go through that middle door, and we'll send them out to you. I'll get you the antidote. Jamie, do you have any feelings about... You've been having premonitions. Jamie looks away. I said to go through the middle <laughs> door. Huh? Go The middle door. Jamie's still just zoning out. Jamie, do you... I try to pull you, but I don't know if like you can do a sensitive like. I was I, thinking you've been having premonitions or like yeah. bird vibes or whatever. She's not. She's not feeling anything right now. Okay, I, I pull you ahead. I'm like, come on. Middle door. Middle door. For the. That's where we get the antidote. We we'll get the antidote, yeah. and then we're gonna do the test. So go through there. So she goes through. She's on the other side. Put, she puts out the little thing. They drive through. Uh, window it's called well no like the little is... box the box you know what i'm talking about like they can put something through Feels like he's going to a slaughterhouse yeah yeah so you go in there uh and then there's these i'm these... gonna say the bank but there's Jesus these no, where they put there's like the conveyor belt thing they i was put talking the about the bank thing through well i was saying well marlin's scared so the thing where they like fucking kill the closest well, the thing i can think of is like an abattoir was so. when you put your pee in the sample window for the doctor's <laughs> that's a uh, that's yeah, Actually, sure. the middle ground. So, little, yeah, it's middle, just middle like ground. that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you <laughs> move the no pee. Window. Like, no. So, this woman puts, uh, she puts, like, two two things in there. You open it up. Uh, and the, and it looks very similar uh, to fruit leather. Like, the texture <laughs> and feel of it. Marlon loves fruit leather. And she's like, yeah, there you go. So, go ahead, chomp that down. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and start the test. This is the fast activating one, so don't worry. I eat it. Jamie is following Marlon's lead on like blending in. So Jamie also eats it. Like Marlon, you eat it fine. Uh, Jamie, you're, you're not able to swallow it. So I just like. You're just like. Jamie, trying to, you're trying <laughs> to, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to chew it and I just can't. So I like I shove it in my mouth. Like in your, your and, cheek like a chipmunk. And then I uh, cough into my hand. I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I spit it into my hand and put it in my pocket. Yeah, uh, and she goes, Good okay. bird moves, vomiting something up to save for later, by Why the way. Why would you call it a bird move? <laughs> I don't know. I'm Nobody not even knows. there. Nobody knows. And she's like, okay, so anyways, we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to initiate the experiment in one minute. Uh, so y'all go ahead, stand in the middle. We're gonna, uh, we're just going to do the aviary test real quick. <gasps> bird moves okay. indeed. Uh, I pretend I'm getting an emergency phone call. I'm like, oh no, I uh, sorry, sorry. Can we can we reschedule for an no, hour? No, I've already can we reschedule. No, the it's our the doors are locked. We are and you see like a countdown. Like she said, like a minute. There's like a countdown. The aviary, what's the aviary test? We're trying to see what the infection does to the to the birds that they eat the worms too, because we want to make sure. Birds. What, yeah, yeah, because well, they're they're gonna naturally go for the worm. No, I, I'm like going for the door. And to keep this in mind, even if they get in your mouth, they can't. The the it's a fast acting antidote. And you do start to see like on the ceiling, like these like these circles start to like open up. 
to expose like where it looks like there's like metal gates and then around the corners of the room and like the, the wall lines you do start to see a uh, different like all the three colored worms like coming out no, i'm and getting a message there's been an intruder in the, in the storage section she i need to go I, investigate i, I, I can't I, need to... I can't hear you and it's like counting down and it's now like, I'm, like on 15 banging on the seconds door. jamie's I'm just banging. standing in the middle of the room like overwhelmed and looking yeah. all around and so meanwhile a big yellow bird shaped light just keep womp womp yeah. I've got one of the fire womp. extinguishers and I'm slamming it against the door yeah it's trying like to you're, open you're it. doing it she's like yeah don't yeah this happens a lot I I mean you signed up you said you were the testers right yes okay well you, I need to go you already signed the waiver go. you don't have to go anyways in five four three two one. Jamie Ooh, that wind hits your face. I feel it. Ooh, is that crisp, beautiful autumn air? Mm. Mm. I smell leaves. Crunching. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what's that? Who's nuzzling against your face? Oh, it's it's Champ. Oh, Champ. Oh, Champ. Ooh, he's, Champ. He's beautiful. What color? Chestnut brown oh, horse. Chestnut brown. Oh my god, Champ. With his mane is a lighter brown. Oh. Reddish undertones. Oh, and he, yeah, and just beautiful, beautiful. I'm, I'm petting his neck. Oh my god. And he's god. nuzzling my face. Oh, someone's getting a little jealous. Who's getting a little jealous, though? Who's this other horse? Is it D'Artagnan? D'Artagnan! D'Artagnan! Oh, D'Artagnan! Oh my god, there's two, two horses. I'm petting them both. And then, and, and, the, and, the, and Champ looks at you and goes, Which one of us are you gonna ride, Jamie? Who, who wants to go for a ride? We got you a present! And you see the saddle, and it's just like a saddle that goes on two horses to where, and it's a swing in between. You can just swing <laughs> in between the horses. Every time you swing up, you can pet the woman. Every time you swing up, you can pet the woman. And then you give them little carrots and like there's and it, oh it's autumn but why there's still apples on the trees oh they're so tasty you're all you're all eating apples together just straight from the trees the, everything's great it's lovely it's beautiful horses we cut to Corinne and, and Ron y'all been like making your way down this kind of like secret tunnel for a bit she goes you obviously don't really know what's happening right I mean come on now who would have thought that a carpet factory would be full of worms and cocoons and I mean well, yeah, come on so you now. came here for keys okay well I'm happy to, <laughs> I'm happy to help y'all wherever this is gonna go in my experience secret passages always lead to bad things but I mean, why else would you wait for like a, exactly. like a regular but passage? I'm gonna say, this is good. usually my yeah. go-to. I'm trying. I usually rush in, so we want to get to here. Uh, how are you? Uh, you're a pretty big guy, but I want to assume how are you at fights? Honestly, I, I've never really been, and no one's ever never come up. That makes sense. You look like somebody no one want to fight. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go. Man, we're all real nice to me for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just six foot four, three foot wide man. It wouldn't been very cordial to me. <laughs> Yeah, so when we get through here, it's probably going to be some bad stuff. Uh, I'm just letting you know, you know, usually my rule of thumb, if they look like they've been transformed, pretty much far, far too gone to be saved. Sometimes it's different. Usually, if they can talk to you, save them. If they can't, they're probably, probably dead already. And kind of So just heads up, you seem like a nice guy. Sometimes you got to do that. Uh, so and you've killed a lot of people, haven't you? Uh, I've killed a lot of monsters, and I've killed a lot of people that were infected by monsters that were then trying to kill me or my friends. I've also, I, well, I did die, I told you that, so. All appearances to the contrary, I've not taken Philosophy 101, so I have no real issue with this. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just trying to, you know, just letting you know that's kind of what we're coming up on uh, in this big hallway. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I hope your friends are okay. Do, how are they? Do, can, are they? Can they? Oh, I can't imagine. I mean, they're both, you've seen, they're not, you know. All right, well, we should probably, we should probably... F I would like to see them again. Get, Otherwise, this road trip's really not going to go. I mean, it's just going to be me. That's, yeah. I well, can't I'm, drive. I mean, I'll, wait, you can't drive? I mean, to learn, but it's just, I've had a lot to take care of. You want to go on a road trip and you can't drive and you're getting to... All right, have you ever been, hey, can you fly? No, but... Have you ever been on a flight? It does. I mean, it is actually kind of similar. I mean, look, you know what? We're coming to the door at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, let's, yeah, okay. Let's. We let's, can pick this up later. No problem. Let's open I'm the door. Sorry, I didn't want to be confrontational. Yeah, no, no we got it. Let's get focused. Let's take a second. No, it's breathe. okay. We're gonna open the door, and as soon as you do, uh, she opens the door first, and you just hear like a shotgun blast go off, no. and she gets blasted back. She's like, ah, ah. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, that's getting a little bad. Getting, and then you hear on the other side, oh, my fuck, I'm so sorry. I got too excited. It's hot Jimmy. Ooh. Oh, it's the man fella from the hot dog truck. Yeah, and then Corinne looks like, why did you shoot me with the shotgun? Well, I didn't know who you were. She goes, use fire. She goes, well, no, I don't want to use fire. The worms that kind of like. Anyway, oh, hey, you're the guy in the, the tow truck, right? Hey, you're yeah, you're the party? You're the, you're the, no, I, we talked about this. I don't really. I mean, I, I enjoy a good time as much as. Corinne's anybody, like, okay, but... anyways, you got. Don't get in this fucking loop with him, J- Jimmy. Jimmy, where where is Alfie? I don't, I don't know. You know, I just I did find this little hallway. There was a bunch of worms over there. Also, they try to get in my mouth. And she goes, did you let? Don't him let them in your mouth. Yeah, I let them in my mouth. No, Jimmy, did, come on, now, Jimmy. I did, but then I, I they're resistant to fire, but not immune to it. And they, you know, I did the whole hot Jimmy special, and he kind of shoots fire from his mouth. Wow, that's impressive. We come back over to Marlin. The clock was going down. Five, four, three, two, one. One hits. You're just like trying. You're screaming. You're banging. And you turn around. And what you see in front of you is the clock goes down. The birds are let out. It's just this flock of different types of birds no. all over flying around, swooping. Worms are like running around. Birds are trying to grab them, be eaten up. And you're looking everywhere but at Jamie because you're, you're not even concerned about Jamie. You're just focused on the birds. This is the most terrifying. It's, it's exactly like that time when you were a kid and you said, uh, yeah, you, we all know what happened. And then you, like, this one bird is just like flying towards your face. It's this giant fucking hawk. It's just screaming. It's got talons up at no. you. It's going for your face. I put my arms in front of my face. You put your arms down, you like get down, and then you hear the sound of bones snapping as you feel like blood just dripping onto you. And you look up and you see Jamie has just bit this fucking hawk's head off. What's terrifying is you now look at Jamie's hands where her fingers have started to like grow out. And Uh. there's these like hardened talons that like the nails are starting to be. And like Jamie has these bird-like eyes. Are you fucking kidding me? She's just running around, slashing through the room, killing worms and birds alike. Marlon huddles in the corner. He's turned away. He's just like on his head. He's like in a fetal position. Like I'm hallucinating. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I'm not about to go on a road trip with a bird person. We cut back to Jamie. The swing is so elegant. It's hitting. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Yeah, you're, 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 at, you're, at, you're at a little lake right now. The horses and you're swimming. They're splashing. And you feel you feel water on your face. We cut to Jamie's gets splattered in blood as she just like picks up this massive worm and just like rips it into two, throwing it out using his bait for birds to draw them in. As she just like rips them up. We cut back to. Oh, <laughs> so oh, funny. Jamie, yeah. Oh, where did all these sugar cubes yeah. come from? Oh, sugar I don't have to leave. I can stay here forever. She can stay here forever. She says she can stay here forever. Yay. Jamie, you wake back up. <laughs> You're in this room. <laughs> it is, you cannot see any of the walls. It is covered head to toe in blood. Marlon, Marlon is, crying. is in the corner <laughs> fucking crying. He's covered in blood and guts. None of his own, it looks like. Ja- Jamie looks around and is sick to her stomach about all the blood everywhere. And she turns and sees Marlon in the corner and runs to him. He flinches. Marlon, are you okay? What happened? Please don't touch me. Don't touch what? me, Jamie. What? What? Are you okay? Jamie, you ain't the rat, right? What? You do. You, what? Are I, you not aware of what just happened? N- no, no. I was. Um. The the lady said that the test was gonna start, and then I, I was visiting my friends. Marlon takes his uh, cell phone. And he turns it to you, and on it there's a photo of you, but you have like bird talon hands and bird eyes and blood everywhere. And you're like, have you seen that gif of the owls eating the rats? You're doing that with like a chicken. Jamie looks at her hands, which are now back to regular human yeah, hands. Yeah, they look they look normal. Just covered in blood. I, I, I've been having this thing happen, and I, I black out and. I just from like I'm vis- I'm I'm playing with horses, but then when I come back, weird things have happened. Okay. But I don't think I've ever hurt a person. You don't think? Do I you don't, know? You I, didn't I, hurt me. I don't remember. But if you're not in control, you need to figure out like yeah. what if this happens when we're in the van and I'm driving. Well, it it only happens when I'm under a lot of stress. So okay. I thought 
I thought um, going on the road trip, I w- it wouldn't happen because I would just be having fun with my friends. That's true. That's true. It's like we were having fun in a minute. Yeah. Remember before the worms? Yeah, it was Everything fine. was it's fine before fun. the worms. I'm like waiting for the t- the lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was about to say, y'all having this conversation. Like standing up. And then like the door opens. Surely and there this is, is not the normal test no, there outcome, is, right? Uh, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not people in lab coats. It is a bunch of security guards and there's guns pointing at you. And then the woman that was like running the test, she goes, okay, so we're going to need to take y'all down for further testing. We're not going to be able to send you up there. So y'all are going to need, need to come with us. Because oh, yeah. I've never, I've never seen the antidote do this before. I'm not gonna go. Well, I, you don't want to. No, I. Well, you, you're the, you signed the waiver, so you have to go. We with didn't us. sign any waivers. Look, look at your papers, Teresa. Yeah, and <laughs> she, she like, she looks at him and she goes, Yeah, I know. It's oh fuck. Wait, I should have not. So, so you're, you're not Thomas. No. Yeah, yeah this so is all. Just, this is all on you. You're not just. This is paperwork mix up. I, I was. I, I'm we st- told you. Still gonna go ahead and say that. To get out. We're still gonna need you to come down because whatever this is, if it's not the antidote, we still want to know. And there are going to men with guns pointed at you. How can I get away with? I'm assuming not trying to get my lighter. Yeah, out. yeah. You can like. It's, I'm gonna it's try just quick, to. Yeah. 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 Give me. Give me a roll. Oh. oh. Minus one, but I roll two sixes, so 11. Yeah, so you flick this lighter, and then similar to what you saw before, this small this small little uh, imp, and he's got like a little casserole disc with like a little demon casserole, and he's like, ah, son of a fucking, what do you fucking want? I'm sorry, I look, I'm like, I'm, I'm surrounded oh! by guys with guns, can you help me? Guys with guns, okay, now we're getting some interesting shit, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, you should have right. seen what happened a minute ago, I can tell you next time. Oh, oh, ooh, all this, so blur, like, that yeah. looks great, and then the, like, all of, everyone looks very, very shocked right now. Uh, and there's and then and then the little wo- man with a casserole. Yeah, and the woman lighter. and the woman just like points to to the little imp and she goes, "We're also gonna need to take that in." And, and then he Good goes, "Good luck." He goes, "Oh, you're not gonna fucking okay. I got this. This one's on me. But don't worry." And he just like spits in his hands, claps, and then does this. And then he just slaps on his knees, and these like little pins poke out from his body, and then they just start to hit each of like their fucking throats and jugulars, They're, like perfect on where the arteries are, where they just start to bleed out. He's like, yeah, no one fucking fucks with me. That's right. Anyways, that's... Oh. Well, looks horrifying. He goes, yeah, yeah, so that's great. So, uh, hey, who did all the blood? My friend Jamie. Ja- well, nice to meet she you. She can turn into a bird person. Uh, wait, you're way more interesting than this little fuckhead. Over here. Also, by the way, he's never fucking asked this before, but my name is... Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Most humans try not to pronounce it, and they ask what else. Like, do you want to give her the lighter? No. Okay. She could turn into a bird. She did this. I need it. I need your help. Well, it's not like I can. She I could can't, turn into a bird. I can't just make it happen. Wait anymore. a minute. And he spits on his hand, rubs his eye, and goes, <gasps> I haven't seen one of you in a while. Wait, Anyways. What is she? Bye. Wait, what is she? <laughs> and he just. <laughs> um, did, it, did, it, um, did he kill the lady, too? Oh, they're all yeah, dead. Yeah. They, uh, they are just dead in front of Jamie, you. Jamie, I want to say I didn't think that he would just. It, it's fine. She should have checked her paperwork. Oh, okay. I think we should get out of here. Yeah. Ooh. And can we grab some guns on yeah. her? Yeah. <laughs> and she, and she, and she, has, she has like keys on her that look important. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So we cut back down to, uh, so Jimmy has like given the rundown to Ron and Karen that he did make his way into the storage facility. He did find the remnants of the old factory and started to follow that down. And there was two paths. This one took him here. So it does seem like there is, this is the underground path from like, like they talked about for these facilities. And he said that there was another path that he didn't, like, you know, that he didn't take to go down. Uh, and he was hoping to try to regroup and find everybody. He goes, if I did find this, apparently there's an antidote. So the worms, if they get in you, they can't, like, start to take care of you. Uh, and so he holds out, like, little fruit leathers. Oh, I love fruit leather. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he, and then Corinne looks and goes, oh, no, is the only antidote? And he goes, and then Jimmy's like, yeah, no, that's fruit leather. Alfred's not going to take it. But it's whatever. We'll deal with that later. J- Jimmy asks, he's like, so where are your two friends? Where are the other people? People, right the i mean they're honestly i don't i don't I, they, they they climbed up in an air vent to come get us and then we this acid lady and i don't know man i would love to find them i've yeah. got a phone call right right i got my I, <laughs> wait, wait, oh i do have my i have my phone i Hang have on. a cellular device oh, hold on i have my le- my electronic telephone <laughs> operator i'd like to speak to my friend and at this point too uh there it does seem that there uh the security has been alerted like there's like sirens going off uh, around but they're not like it's just like you see like red lights uh probably because there was somebody that just murdered an entire room of, it wasn't me 
It was it was a couple of somebodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of lots of death. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all, you call. Run. Yeah. Hey, Marlon. Where, where are you? Where are you? Where I'm, are you? I'm at the bottom of the stairwell, uh, sort of storage. Like I found Hot Jimmy, the guy with the, guy hey, with the hot dog. Hey, y'all at the party? Is that your friend? How, 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 how do I get there? How do I get there? How do I get there? I'm not super sure. We went all the way downstairs. I try and give them some directions, but like there was a big sign with stairs on it. I think that's, I mean, like, I know, I don't know. All the hallways are the same color, Marlon. Ask them what their favorite party is. Oh, Horse Marlon, parties. What? Which what, Jamie Marlon? What she said horse party? parties. She said horse parties. Okay, I can work with that. What about the other one? Marlon, pick a kind of party. I think it's uh, wi- fun, wild, wild fun parties? horse party. Okay, I, I got the, you. I got going. you. I got you. And you see how Jimmy like rub his hands together and he whispers and then goes, "Horse fun." And he like <laughs> blows. He blows like this flame out of his hands, and you see this tiny little flame horse start running out, and then you see this trail of flame cocaine because it's fun. Uh, make its way up and then so he's like stay on the phone with him keep him talk tell him to think real hard about partying keep thinking about parties y'all okay just, just think is I know it's, it's so hard for Marlon he's so traumatized yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the, the just... cocaine is like the lines getting thinner and thinner as it's going but the horse is getting faster and stronger Marlon your voice seems kind of distant you experience any serious psychological traumas in the last five or six minutes that you want to talk Man. about how did you <laughs> <laughs> how did you guess Ron well I mean I'm it's... covered in blood oh all all right, so people, Kelvin. worm, bird. Wait, should we? Do you want to take off the white suits? That's what the blood is on. Honestly, you were wearing white suits. That's what most of the blood was on. On the road Jamie's podcast. gonna take You're hers take off. Brought yeah. to you by Tyvek. Fine. I'll take it off if I have the antidote. I'll take it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so y'all, and we the camera follows too. Once again, like ro- just look for a little flaming horse. Doing yeah, Marlon's cocaine, cocaine a line. Flaming horse. Marlon's cocaine line is is withering fast. It does not get to you, but luckily Jamie has the true uh, spirit of horse parties in her. <laughs> as this ho- this little tiny tiny flaming horse makes her way, uh, and he goes like. A- and then uh, explodes no, in your face is like a little fireball, what? but there is like a flame trail. But it's like as soon as he explodes in your face, it was a few, cute one. You could tell he wanted to. Uh, he liked it. But then do you do you see like the trail is now like going back like a few. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. Go. Let's follow the horse trail. Uh, yeah, so you let's fo- gallop while we go. You follow the horse trail. <laughs> do you do full all fours? <laughs> that makes too much, I guess. Yes, Jamie. Uh, do you fun. do the horse crawl all fours well. and goes? Yeah. Marlon's singing. That's not a bird thing. That's just her. Okay. Yeah. Jamie's handling all the merch. She just did very well. Nothing's wrong. She's just a horse now. Everything's fine yeah. as long as Marlon's there's horses. See those dead security guards in his dreams. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Technically. Birds, and I don't want to offend anyone here. Killing birds isn't exactly murder. That's all. I mean, like, I don't think. Well, the think... worms needed to be killed. But we're talking about all the guard. I was talking about yeah, the no, guards. I was talking yeah, about, that's all human. Marlin. I don't think Jamie Jay- didn't do shit. Well, it doesn't it. sound like. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened at all. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. You make your way there. Uh, you do find the way, like, it, but the door does seem to be blocked by this kind of like. Uh, it seems to be less in the hallway now because it started going there, but there is like the green, like, carcass uh, that's like hardened. And at this point, you do see that woman's face, though. It's on the wall you can, you can see it i'll spray it with a fire extinguisher uh yeah Anything? you st- yeah you start to spray it with a fire extinguisher and it does seem to like kind of it stops the spread of it but it uh but that's kind of it. it doesn't seem like to break it i want to electrocute it with a cattle prod Ooh, yeah you do electrocute it and then it just start immediately like the area that you do it starts to like res- like re- like rescind and move back so as Jamie is like clearing the doorway with the cattle prod, she's going, yeah, 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 Good job, yeah, Jamie. Yeah. It's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the dead woman's face. <laughs> Shake my head. We have two of you are handling this way differently than one of you. Ah, uh, yeah, so you successfully solved my woman puzzle and make your way through. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listeners at home will be advised to not use a cattle prod to solve their yeah. women puzzles. Not every puzzle solved the same way. You can't hold me responsible. No, it could have been worse, honestly. So good job. Uh, <laughs> Marlon so, just keeps shaking his head. Yeah, like, Marlon is just pushing. Boy, I gotta find those keys. Gotta get out of here. Well, I want to. And Jamie was in Horse Town for a lot of what Marlon yeah, yeah, experienced. Yeah. So. And he also feels. Bad, I will like, say, you even though you had like the things on, there's still some in your hair. It's hard to like. There was a lot. 
It well, got a lot. We'll take showers. Yeah, but you do you do eventually like uh, meet up, Ron. There's definitely a distinct smell that was on them now. That's on them now that was not on them before. Bird stank. I mean, bird. It's a lot. It's uh. Did it's, you guys get an antidote? It's fruit leather, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. She tried to eat one and had to spit it up. But I have an extra if someone needs it. I'm. Um, he just hold up like a mound. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of stuff like, I what? spit out. Yeah, hot Jimmy holds up. He goes, "We got a couple unshoot, but you know, I'll go ahead just for for, for for fun." And he does eat it. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, he goes. Anyways, that's hot Jimmy. He's like, well, plus, so hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, we we we're we're here for the horse party. The ho- ooh, horse party. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so Corinne tells me you're looking for some keys. Yeah, well, that's right. Can't help you there, but. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't say it, but he thinks. Then why bring it up? But uh, but no, I was saying. But uh, but it turns out you're all y'all are looking for keys. Also here to t- kill worms and help, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we were gonna go the other way. I found that there's two entries. I think we I think we found a way down to the oh. underground. Uh, so what? Uh, I do think security knows we're here now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see the red lights are going yeah, off they're, in here. They're kind of going too. off here. Uh, so let's just do a quick skill check here. Uh, me, hot Jimmy, I make a mean hot dog. And Corinne, like, does that seem particularly relevant today, Jimmy? And he goes, no, okay, that's fair. That's fair. I can also do this. And he, like, holds up his hand. He goes, this isn't that great against them. Uh, but if you burn them hot enough, you know, we'll take them down. Uh, and then Corinne holds up her lacrosse stick like, with, the, with the thing on there. She goes, I'm really handy with this. Also, you know, just, just good beating the ass. Uh, Ron has told me he's never never been in a fight but i'm pretty handy with a fire extinguisher <coughs> one in each hand oh sorry i'm sorry very sorry. close uh so what about the two you what do we got, got what um, excited i'm forklift certified i know how to use a gun and i have a magic lighter that can summon a demon that will an imp that's demon. what that does yeah i just uh, yeah i just used it to solve a problem a minute ago his so name was <sighs> wait you can summon a yeah okay I'm also a really good. What does that have to do with being forklift certified? And talk. I'm just listing my skills. You yes, asked for a skill check. That's pretty and good. And I skill. am uh, good at convincing people. You know, getting in and out of situations. Okay, so. Um, Marlon slowly turns his head. Well, to... first of all, Jamie opens up her backpack, which has at this point like guns, a cattle prod, fire extinguishers. She's like, I have, I have all of these. I've never shot these guns, but I've shot before. Also. Sometimes when I'm really stressed out, I black out. And then when I wake up, I, I've i done some things like I ate some worms earlier. Wait, you ate the worms? Yeah. Yeah, no, we talked about it. None of us think that's a good idea either, but she's I, fine Jamie, now. Do you care if I show them the picture? You can show them. Marlon grimaces and like... Oh, is that you phone. eating it? Whoa, whoa. That's a, she got some... Uh, it's a seagull in your mouth. I flipped there's a the horizontal your, one I took. Oh, that's a really good panorama. It's really it's, wow. But that's a lot of blood just in the Ooh, air. Oh, okay. Um But I don't I don't remember doing it. That's not Corinne just looks at the three okay. So the two Indian, you're not with any organization. I mean well, I, I mean uh, buzz buzz. We're hornets, buzz buzz. Well yeah, buzz buzz. Uh, but, we, all do the, we all do the handshake. We all do the handshake. Jimmy's upset because Corinne's told him plenty of times he can't do the handshake. We're just trying to go on a red trip. If, okay, that's what I was about to say. If this, are you, I'm just going to ask this one last time. Is this a cover for something? Or are you seriously just stumbling upon this and really looking for car keys? We talked about this the whole way down the stairwell. <laughs> There's a man, we got a van given to us. By, I know, I by, know. by crazy Carl's less crazy the, son yeah, who, the, went, who yes. got very excited for selling cars as a result of the worms. We okay. got the we took the car, the mechanics. Mechanics said they hadn't heard, they hadn't seen it. Stefan apparently brought the keys. It was his van. He came here, I assume, with the keys in his pocket. And I'm I don't no one's seen him since, so we assume the keys were here. But also the worms, which all of that's very needs a, that. Yeah, the worms happened at crazy crazy Carl's, and I and that's where I ate them. And then we went to the mechanics. How long ago did you eat the worms? Was it like hours? Immune during official daytime. You're. She's got natural worm immunity. Okay, you know what? I just chewed. We got a lot of grand to cover, so let's just we'll we'll talk about all this later. Uh, Hopefully, we can find Alfred somewhere. Ron said you all met him. He was the older gentleman. Uh, he probably talked about a lot of people dying in a fire. Yeah, a lot. A couple different fires. It's yeah, like a uh, hobby of his or something. It's, it happens. Anyway, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go back down this way. I, Corinne, just gonna go ahead and take the lead here. 
Ron, you should probably take the rear. You seem like you can take some damage. Also, go ahead. I was telling telling Ron this uh, rule of thumb in monsters. Uh, you try to save people if you can, but usually if they can't uh, speak anymore, they usually, they're, they're taken over to a point uh, where they're not savable. Uh, especially with these worm creatures, it does seem like they're ho- hollering them out from the inside. It's just more husk or anything. So I don't really feel bad if you got to use those guns or cattle prods on them. It happens. Uh, you know, it's just a, a line. Well, I guess I was about to say it's another... They in the you know, line of work we all chose, but none of you chose this, and you're here for a car key, so let's go. And uh, Jamie looks at Marlon and says, they said not to feel bad. Oh, thank you, Jamie. It is remarkable. I don't well, explain that to the rest of you, because I did not tell them that I killed <laughs> like six people. I, uh, I love it. The camera follows as the five of you walk down this corridor, going deeper into Master's Carpets. The camera lifts past you and goes topside to reveal the exterior of the old factory and pushes in through a window at the top floor. There, we see Alfred walking into a dimly lit, dirt-covered room. A streak of light shoots out from a nearby window, going over his shoulder to reveal a wall of carcasses and bones sprawling out before him. Ooh, Alfred, what have you got yourself into this time? Alfred turns around to see a desk with a plaque that reads, Wesley Orion Reginald Masterson III, as a shadow clerk figure begins to stand from behind it. Well, at least I'm not going to die in a fire. The camera cuts to the exterior of the old Masters Carpets factory as we see a silhouette of Alfred falling to his knees as a worm makes its way down his throat with a lightning strike hitting the background as the camera smashes the black. Oddity Roadshow is an actual play podcast using the Monster of the Week system. I'm Paul Byron, and I played Ron the Chosen. I'm Allison Mayer, and I played Jamie the Monstrous. I'm Shannon Strucci, and I played Marlon the Crooked. And I've been your GM, Joel Ruiz. Music by People Need Goals, Zach Nichols, and Sarashu. With character art by Christina Marina, and episode art by Sarah Gobble. For additional information, please visit our website at oddityroadshow.com. And thank you so much for listening to episode four here at Oddity Roadshow Podcast, the show you're listening to, so you should know the name of it. Also, if you don't know the name of it, impressive, I guess. Uh, it's me, your GM, Jory, just here to give you some after show notes, little wrap ups, little 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 reminders. Uh, like, you know, what about this reminder? Go review us on iTunes. That's right. Or Podchase or anywhere you can review podcasts. Go do it. Uh, it'd be great. We want we want those reviews. Uh, and, you know, we've gotten a bunch of nice ones. Uh, and, you know, here's two really nice ones that we've gotten. From Lucas, the GM of Battle of the Seven Dice, Monster Hunting Chaos. From the craters of Critical Bits comes another high quality, hilarious, and sure to be dramatic actual play podcast. Right out of the gate, you get a great feeling for these characters as they lean on one another and begin navigating the world that is sure to have a great number of strange creatures and stranger people. The music and effects are a great touch as they add to that immersion and help you spin up that theater of the mind to follow along. If you're a fan of Monster of the Week shows, then this one is for you and you won't want to pass it up. Give them a listen and get ready for a weird good time. From Ghost Knows, this is shaping up to be another great actual play podcast from the people that made Critical Bits. People Need Gold sets a great atmospheric soundtrack to really set the mood of the series. The first episode already sets up mysteries surrounding members of the party in the larger arc of the season and possibly the series. The cast and DM are great at mixing horror with creepy situations and body horror. Really looking forward to where this story is going. So thank you so much to everyone that's reviewing us so far. Like I said, go review us on iTunes or wherever you can review podcasts. It'd be a huge help to us because uh, we're still new. We're still fresh. Uh, it's episode four. Uh, and, you know, we got a Patreon. We got a lot of great stuff on there. If you've been enjoying the show and you want to hear us talk about how we made the show, inspirations for it, we do have ID Post Show, which is an after talk show where we break down what happened in the episode and also just kind of talk about dumb bullshit. I like that we just scratched the surface on our characters and backstory and there's so many other things to ask about like hey Marlon what happened to your face <laughs> can we do we ever talk about that it doesn't say that Marlon thinks that cocaine is fun it's that Jimmy was the one that summoned the fun party and so it was just cocaine uh, listeners will just, know that cocaine is pretty fun pretty fun yeah. Joel like I, don't do it. A, I don't think it's that kind of a time two but, thumbs up from Joel but I'm not gonna tell other people like oh no it's not fun like it seems like everyone's doing it's having a good time I can't get mad at it
that comes out on our off weeks we also post on tuesday so if you're wanting to get some of us every week go ahead and go over to patreon.com slash oddity roadshow and sign up at the friend of the trail level for five dollars a month if you want to get all the episodes early you can sign up for ten dollars a month if you just want to throw us a couple of dollars and you don't care about bonus content sign up for two dollars there's still some stuff you get there the whole critical bits backlog is on there of patreon stuff make sure to go check out our website oddityroadshow.com there's a getting started guide if you want to try to convince any of your friends to get into the show and you want to show them what it's about the getting started guide is a great way to do that there's art by sarah gobble as we mentioned there's art by christina marina links to all the music you can get every single one of our tracks is available for purchase at bandcamp.com if you just go search oddity roadshow get those sweet people need goals tracks that we were just talking about from that review there's sarashu there's zach nichols it's really great and like you said every single arc we're going to come out with a new song for the monster that arc lots of great stuff happening and all that's possible because we have patreon supporters so i know i already mentioned the patreon but like i said all that money goes right back into the show our production budget making more music making more art just trying to make the show the best it can be it's been a really really great to see the response to the show so far we're only four episodes in and we've had gotten a lot of good reviews we've gotten a lot of good feedback so thank you so much for listening please go tell your friends if you want to tweet at us go ahead and tweet at oddity road show with the hashtag oddity road show hopefully twitter's still up by now uh we're on all the other socials instagram tiktok and stuff like that we're gonna be making a tumblr page so you can still reach out to us if you want to talk to us directly and meet other fans of the show we do have a discord there's a link in the episode guide that you can go ahead and find right now uh, and that's pretty much it so once again thank you for listening to episode four and make sure to come back in two weeks for episode five worm penthouse Okay, Teresha, I got your text. I'm gonna give you the $50, but I gotta get, oh my God, what the hell happened? Oh no, they're all dead. Everyone in this room is dead. This is a miracle. Oh my God, now I don't have to pay her that $50 I owed her. Oh, look at this, look at him. I owed him $50 too. This is great. Looks like everything's coming up. Ah! Oh, God, this worm is killing me. I guess I don't have to pay back anyone $50 if I'm dead. Got a glass half full, I guess.